All right, this is Sean Riley here at the uh, 2023 Cyber Madness, and I'm here with Paul Zettler. Paul is the coach for the state champion Rough Rider Cyber Madness Cybersecurity Championship here in North Dakota. Uh, Paul, your team was, uh, they were nervous. I could see it. I was going around, I was kind of poking the kids a little bit, having fun with it. And they were just ready 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 but they stayed at the top in every round and they hammered through those last couple of rounds what's it like being a coach for a state champion cybersecurity team well i tell you what if they were nervous i was like 10 times that <laughs> because you're just sitting over there watching the leaderboard knowing they're working their tails off and you can't do anything about these teams nipping at their tails um I tell you i couldn't be prouder of a group of kids um and you know that james river valley team they're a quality crew they won it last year we were second to them last year and, and we had a team of two kids mm -hmm. so i tell you what about this group they've been thinking about that ever since last year and putting a lot of pressure on themselves and knowing they wanted to come back here and do this so to be able to see them climb that mountain and actually do it and beat a quality team like they did it it's just extra special it really is it really is you know and it, it's surprising to me so as we're watching this there's there's 21 teams here competing this week and of those 21 teams about 11 of those teams are actually above the average college team score for this kind of event. So this is not a weak field. This is a team of high school kids who are beating the average college team scores. And that kind of blows my mind that we're watching this happen. So when you've got a, a group like that and you're playing like that, what are you doing to help those kids prepare? How are you helping them get in, in the mode to be able to come and compete at this level? Yeah, well, you know, there's, I think one thing is is looking at all these technology tools from a variety of angles. You know, we're really appreciative of Palo Alto, who provides all the stuff they do here. But we do a number of Cisco stuff, too. And I, and I think, you know, looking at the same type of stuff from two different vendors and two different angles, which, hey, in the business world, you're going to use a variety of products, right? So I think that's helpful. Um, we've also uh, done a number of things like CyberStart America, uh, which just, you know, getting them in the Linux command line, getting, you know, cracking passwords, all these different types of challenges that, that go beyond network configurations, that kind of stuff. And, and you know, thinking, thinking innovatively. And I will tell you this too, the other, the other thing is a group of five individuals, these are, I mean, they're smart kids. They're, if I'm 10 times more nervous, they're 10 times smarter than me too. Um, we're on the way out here and they're talking about this AP class, that AP class. So we know they're smart individuals, but one thing I can add to the equation for them is how do they work together as a group? You know, every, every one of those five students brings something to the table, but will they allow all, all five individuals to add to the equation, right, so to speak. So I think that's really my biggest role because they'll, they'll learn the technical stuff and climb that mountain on their own. Then you just, you know, I, I don't like that it's called soft skills because it's not soft, but it, it's important. And so you can help them with that. Yeah, it's, it, this, this is absolutely a team sport. One person cannot win on this. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is just amazing to be able to see these kind of groups gel together. We saw this very quickly in the morning competition, those of us that have been around a little bit, when we saw schools that were changing how they're sitting and moving their, their, mm -hmm. their screens around so they could be in the pods together. And you immediately went, that one's going up further, that one's going up further, you know, those schools are moving. Mm -hmm. And with you guys, same thing, we saw that. We're going, you know, doing a two and a three real quick and then you shifted to a different two and a three and then it shifted mm -hmm. to a four and a one. Yep. And you knew when to shift your people around where when you needed somebody to be in the cornerstone of the team and somebody to lead the team and somebody to team into different groups. Uh, super, super fast with a group. So that was fun to watch. So what's what's it going to look like next year? You've only got one senior. You're only losing one senior. We do uh, only have one senior on that crew. So one junior and three uh, sophomore ladies with us, uh, which we were really excited about. So you know what? Um, we're going to be back. I'm sure James River will be back. and. Uh, We'll enjoy the challenge. Well, and uh, James, James River, James Valley is definitely going to be back, but uh, Beach was right there with you guys, right? right? Little, little school yep. right there. Animus, I was, I was amazed. Here's a school of 70 kids, and they've got two teams here, and they're playing, and they're right up on the top. Tioga, yep. you know, way up there. So 
you know, it, it, it kind of has blown my mind that these schools of every size, every diversity, all over the place, and they're all here to play. Uh, and it's just a credit to you and your team. You guys put in all the extra work to be able to get it to the end. And uh, congratulations for that, Coach. And you go home a happy guy this week. So, so Thank awesome. You, yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. And uh, here we are at uh, Cyber Madness with Paul, who has uh, just led his team to victory for the second annual state championship for cybersecurity in the state of North Dakota.